So you need to raise your hands, then I'm, I'm randomly going to ask somebody. So what it means is, uh, if you have a, a class and you want to, uh, object of a class and you want to downcast it to a subclass, what is the operator you are going to use? Class name as subclass. Yeah, that's correct. You need a book parser? Yeah. So the answer is basically you use uh, you know whatever object it is, right? Um, object one, as of type, you know whatever the subclass name. Um, you can use optional, or I think not. Even if you don't use optional, it should be okay. Uh, um, if you just use uh, H. We need. We need optional. Okay. Um, which, if you put optional, it basically ensures that um, if this fails, then this um, yeah. object is nil, then which you can handle later on. This is a dictionary declaration of a specific type, and you need to put something here. Um, what is the thing that you need to put in the declaration? You need to raise hands, man. If you want to see <laughs> that's that's kind of disqualification. <laughs> okay. Um, which is the keyword used to observe property changes on a property just after it is set to a new value? Which is uh, really uh, I'm not going to ask to you both. So. <laughs> Uh, uh, which is basically a new feature in um, Swift. Um, in Objective C, what you had uh, is uh, observers or delegates on on the view controller label, which is like you had uh, view did load, view will disappear, view did disappear. But Swift has uh, property observers uh, you know, on on the property label, um, and you can do certain stuff. Uh, you know, uh, when the value is set to something. Uh, Let's say you have uh, a label, and once you assign certain things to the label, you want to change the color of the label, or you want to assign a new property to the font, you can use these property observers. So, but what is the keyword? Anyone? That's correct again. Unfortunately, I have only 10%, so you can't really <laughs> combine them together. I think I have a good Yeah. No, this is not just for one book. You can you can buy any books from the store. So um, anyway, I'm going to leave it here just in case anyone wants. Um, um, what is this? Okay. This is too easy. Also, there's something missing in this um, in this code. Anyone? Yeah, that's correct. <coughs> because when you're overriding a function, right, you basically need to ensure that the superclass method uh, gets executed properly. Um, so you need something like super That's it for tonight. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'm going to ask more difficult questions coming forward. Uh, uh, but um, as I've been talk, uh, talking about the SWIP study group, it, it's going to start from uh, starting next month, and I'll send out the details. I'll probably not use the meetup group to announce it, so because then it's going to spam everyone who are not interested in the study group, for example. So I'm going to use the Facebook group. Um, if you haven't <coughs> used the Facebook group, um, just join iOS Dev Scout on Facebook, and um, I will uh, I will announce uh, about the study group. 
um, British Paul is still going to happen here uh, because it's easier for me to organize here. <laughs> and then if it's here, then I can probably try to get sponsorship for food as well. Uh, I can't promise that at the moment. Uh, if we do it very regularly, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but feel free to hang around for quite a bit. Uh, I think it's 9. Uh, we can wrap up around 9.30. If you want to talk to each other, uh, then just feel free to hang around and talk to each other. Thank you all for coming tonight. Thanks. Can we take this one also? Can it? It's on it?